What up, what up? Hopefully y'all miss me, man. I know it's been a minute. But I um I had to switch up a few things, man. I had to I had to switch the game up. Um the rental game got 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 sticky. The rental game got real sticky. I wasn't able to find no trucks. And um I had to go back to buying trucks again because I can't find no rentals. And even for the rentals I got, when they go down, they don't have no replacements. So I'm like, spend fifteen hundred a week, and they ain't even got no replacement. I'm like, that's just, that's crazy. I'm like, I might as well buy trucks. So I hit up Penske, and I, I they got me. I got, I'm getting seven, seven more trucks. They get in between like, I think the cheapest ones like fifty, in between fifty nine and sixty thousand. So yeah, I'm back buying trucks because I mean I feel like it, hey. I ain't finna miss this peak season right now. Um, we're gonna talk about Amazon rolling out a couple of new programs today. We're gonna talk about really the um why why it's the best and uh and the worst time to be getting the game right now. All right, so we 60 deep in here. Let's get it. You just got my second, y'all just got my second semi running. Amazon, that's what's up. Bro, you know how hard it is to catch this man live. I watched every video this man tried. <laughs> hey, man, actually, see, as anybody that's been watching me for a minute, you can see my setup is actually finally done. You know, my production studio. So now I ain't got to keep moving and moving moving my setup around. It's just, I'm always, I always can just do it from the same, from one of two places. So, yeah, that helps out. So yeah, I'm kicking y'all um back kicking it with y'all. Try to do this a couple of couple of times. Would you start flipping trucks? Uh, maybe. I ain't really got time. I can't even get with the Amazon damn system. Oh nah. Well, look. All right, so I'm gonna jump it, I'm gonna jump it off. I um for my box truck people, since you know, I always gotta give y'all some little some little lowdown on some new stuff that's going down. So I don't know if y'all seen the, the the DDU emails they've been sending out for people that, that they want you to have five trucks or whatever. It's super heavy now. They really pushing that. Now, anybody that want to get in the game and and not really, like let's say, I wouldn't say ain't got the money, but if you ain't got like, not every everybody's starting point is different. Let's just put it like that. So, in this scenario, you could you could end up having one truck and do what I did and tell them that you got five or however many trucks. Then you just you know you just contract the rest of them out because not everybody's gonna be able to get it. Mm, not everybody's as thrifty. Y'all on here watching? It's some people on the game that ain't that ain't watching. So you can maybe get subcontracts and work through them through Indeed. And I know everybody's gonna be like, well, you don't supposed to subcontract. Well. Amazon don't give a shit as long as the rate um the the um the loads are covered. Um the the rates that they got right now on the box trucks are going up a little bit with these new blocks, but I'm gonna see. I mean, my operations manager sent me the profit and loss, and I mean, hey, the, the profits are definitely up, so I can't complain um about that. So just keep that in mind for my semi people. Um briefly go check out the AFP program, Amazon Freight Pro Partner Program where they giving you it's kind of like that van program they got but they doing it now with semi so all you got to do is have 40 grand in your account and they'll give you the trucks they'll pretty much give you the whole system pretty much they're gonna they're gonna well all you gotta do is hire your drivers pretty much it's all you gotta do is have the money and hire your drivers they got a nice schedule they get they got for them they're gonna be working 312s so you will have two drivers per truck probably not a real good thing Get, um, given the COVID, you know, the COVID thing, people don't really want, like my drivers really kind of complain when they got to share trucks. So I didn't really like that. And they actually offered it to me out in, out in St. Louis because I got, I got a company out in St. Louis. So they offered it to me, but I didn't really, I, I was going to take it, but it felt too much like a job to me. So I just was like, nah, it's a guy named Courtney out of, um, out of Chicago. He was trying to get me to do it in St. Louis. Too much like a job for me. But not everybody's in the same thing. So if you got 40 grand and it's available in your area, just search, just Google Amazon Freight Partner 
and sign up. And when they come to your area, they could contact you. They was going to give me three trucks in January. But like I said, I, I just couldn't. When we looked, I looked at the numbers and it just was like, excuse me, for like a hundred grand. I'm just like, I make way more than that now. So for me, it wouldn't be good. But for you or somebody who coming up who just want to be an investor, maybe got management skills, I think it's a good opportunity for somebody, you know. So I'm going to stop knocking it, knocking stuff that I wouldn't do given my position because if I was in the beginning, I would have done it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want you to get the wrong idea that, like, you should try to be this big shot person and turn down things. Like, I started with Amazon, and um, I'm still running the little boxes over there, but as um for as long as they're gonna keep on let me let me get this money from from me um brokering and shit i'm I, I keep on getting it but i no longer have any box trucks or box truck drivers i got two trucks left that's in the shop when they get in the shop they're gonna be gone they've been in the shop for months waiting on parts of course because of the all of the chips and all and all of that good stuff you know all of the i guess they waiting on like the little chips micro chips whatever the hell they waiting on but is it it's been taking all day but yeah so that's just kind of like that part of what I want to talk about. I'm going to jump into some questions then we could jump into, you know, the, the rest of the good, bad, and the ugly. All you say, you should start flipping trucks. I flipped a couple of trucks, man, but I don't want to deal with trucks. I don't even like trucks for real. I just had too much money sitting in the bank, so I just wanted to go. I had to go flip it some kind of way, and I feel like the safest way for me is trucks. I've been in the game about four weeks and I'm eating well. Oh, that's good. Shouts out to CJ. He say eating well over there. Let's see. You have to call the company that run it. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. What kind of money should I save if I wanted to buy your course to get started? My course is um the replay is only two fifty, so it's it's just a small amount. My next class is coming out. It's three ninety nine. Uh, it's gonna be on the seventeenth. And I'm only doing like one class a month now. I don't, I don't know if I, well, if I can get the time, but right now it's peak. I'm hiring drivers, and hiring drivers is definitely a headache. I had, I, I got, um, I separated with one of my managers, and I got rid of a couple of drivers. So, like, I had to, I kind of had to clean house, and I'm just rebuilding right now. And I'm going for 12. 12 semis is the goal. By the end of the year, I have 12 of them. So, 12 of them getting at least. Two to three thousand on the low end a piece. It's time to eat, y'all. It's time to eat. And I ain't doing nothing but running off the low board. I got a, I got a couple dedicated routes with the low board. That spot market been sweet. So, yeah. I just applied for my LLC with this lady. She charged me fourteen seventy one to do it and get my MC in authority. Illinois, do you think that was too much? I mean. The price is what you feel like. The price that you're paying for something is if you feel like it was worth it to you. Nobody else could tell you that their price is is good or bad. I mean, I feel like it's a lot of. I feel like y'all could do all of this stuff on y'all own, which I don't understand why people be uh, even paying me or like watching my videos because I'd be like, shit, it's really all easy. But I guess it's easy for me because I already know, you know. And I just, I guess y'all trying to skip some of the failing parts, but it's definitely. It's definitely pretty um pretty easy. A lot of I've never paid nobody to do none of that stuff. I never took a class, but I also lost about eighty grand. So if there was a class to take out right now, I think I probably would. Did you buy all the? Did you buy all semis or did you get some box trucks too? Oh no, I bought all semis. I got five semis right now, and I just bought seven more. So that's that's what it's gonna equal equal to um being twelve. And I got rid of, I had all my box truck drivers are gone. I gave them severance pay and just told them, good riddance. Sorry. But semis is just, it just would make way more money. And if I was, a, like, if, if it was small, I definitely, like I said, if I was to do it all over again, I'll start back with a box truck again because that's what I know how to make work. Yes, I do have two box trucks for sale. They just, um, Jack. Jackson boys, yeah, yeah, I do. I just like I said, they in a the shop. They at Freightliner. One at Freightliner. One of them at Ryder. Just waiting no parts. Where can I find some cheap insurance for our trucks? Um, you could find um, 
I use a dude named Steve. From, um, like he, he get you like progressing, and like you can't get that with nobody else. Um, it, that all cheap insurance is based on state, and a lot of people ain't got the correct coverage though. So that's why theirs be so cheap. Biting, not letting, not not letting ship in off the off the coast. Oh yeah, I heard. I heard. I mean, the rates. I mean, the game is finna change for the best and the worst. So let's go ahead and jump into that real quick. So the reason why I say the game is changing for the best and the worst at the same time, because like right now, it's it's about to be peak season. So this is the season where that I suggest everybody who want to get in and hop in simply because it's going to be more freight than any other time of the year. So if you can start now, hop in by like November, you know, where they like hop in, get everything set up, which is, which is, like I said, if you set up your company, you could be set up in three weeks. So, and I know how to get it done that fast. So if you, this is the busiest time and this is the time where I feel like you get the quickest return on investment because the rates are going to be higher because it's going to be so much freight. So right now I'm averaging $295, $3 a mile. My average friend to go up to about $5 a mile. Easy. So that means I'm going to be making probably an additional $2,000 to $3,000 per week per truck. That's why it's important that I have 12. Because that's going to go on for at least about 10 weeks. So you do the math. That's always been when I made the most of my money. And it always will be in the trucking when I make the majority of my money. Because rates are based on the man so so right and then so i would say it's a the bad part of it is that the same truck that i spent thirty seven thousand on just eight months ago i'm, I'm buying them for sixty thousand now the same fucking truck with the same amount of miles they're a year newer so for a year newer i'm paying like damn near twenty five thousand more no nah, hold on i got it for 37 yeah how about 30 47 57 yeah about twenty five thousand more for the same truck <laughs> So that's why I say it's the worst time because the trucks are super high. It ain't really no rentals and they manufacturing new trucks very slow. So the good thing about this is that well, I wouldn't say that's good because it's going, it's going not, it's going to make it harder for certain people to get in because like I just bought seven trucks at like 60,000. So once all of the $30,000 trucks gone, Mostly all the forty thousand dollar trucks gone. So then eventually it's gonna be the fifty thousand dollar trucks, then sixty thousand dollar trucks, and then so you gotta figure people who trying to get in by February, shit. If there's some trucks available, then they're gonna be having to spend about a hundred grand to get a truck. So the the barrier of entry is increasing. So that's why I say if you're trying to get in, you better get in now because I can show you the receipt. I just just at Freightliner. For a 2015 automatic, I just paid 37000 earlier this year. Same trucks right now, sixty fucking thousand dollars Like, so that's, that, that's difficult. And like I said, the rental way I used to go, they forcing me to buy trucks. I ain't finna get out of trucking right now. Oh, no, because if the barrier entries go high and that means people stop getting in, that means whoever's in at the time when that happens, it's gonna kind of like be be stock. It's gonna be like we we gonna be locked in. So I'm definitely finna put my 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 feet deeper into it. I might get eight. I might get eight trucks. I mean, I might. I, I keep on. First, I was gonna get four. Then I added another one. And I added two more. I'm just like, and I found me six trailers. So I found six trailers in Texas. So I finna add. I finna add twelve trucks, twelve trailers, and I'm gonna be running because I can't depend on. I'm done with chasing JB Hunt trailers around. And stuff like that, cause they I ain't, I ain't finna keep having back calls doing power only. So progressive is too expensive now. Yeah, um, it is, but they they let you do. I right, now progressive expensive, but they let you do whatever. Like they hire, they, they let you take whatever. And when you, I appreciate progressive right now because the insurance under one of my companies is super fucking strict like they won't even they if you even sneeze wrong they ain't they ain't letting you on the policy so with the pool of drivers out here i gotta i need i need progressive to take some of these drivers with these shitty records for me so i can get these trucks moving hey you know um i ain't never had the best crew of drivers 
and I still made a lot of money. So people ask me how to hire good drivers. I haven't really had many. I might have like one out of five. If you're talking good, where it's like they just run good with no problems. But other than that, drivers are always going to have some log issues or some type of issue. So that's that's always going to be a thing. So now I, I didn't I didn't have also I didn't spent probably like 1700 over the last two weeks just promoting for the driver. So I, I got about I got five drivers for the 1700 that I that I spent. But I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that rolling because each truck making two to three grand a week, sometimes four, you know, so, so yeah, keep, keep all of that in mind. I'm glad that I turned up. I'm glad, man. It's a lot of people in here. Let me get to jumping on these questions. I have Amazon Relay and I can't get a truck rented for nothing. They, they never, they, yeah. Hey, that's what I said. That's the, the work for the beater. Like Amazon, did they open it up a new spot? Um, near like augusta or something they keep on hitting me up about it i guess like typically back in the days before semis shit i'd have went out there and try well i guess since they ain't got no rentals then i, I probably couldn't have did it but back then I, I i went to jacksonville i went to anywhere amazon was said they had something to try to and try to open up me a little situation but with the truck game now if you ain't got enough money to buy right now it's it's or it's almost gonna be impossible to get in the game with a rental right now like i think that's that's just about over Unless you just spending your, your whole life trying to find one. I'm saying with the cor with the course and for a truck, not the rental route. Run a question by me, man. I think I probably was running off just talking, man, and I and I completely forgot what it was you was um you had asked initially. I read the email. Thanks for suggesting. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Um that's a super, super, super good book. Thanks for listening and actually reading it because it's definitely life changing. Um, as far as the, the way you view business, hey Chantrell, you know any dispatchers, brokers, and that note, I, nothing about dump trucks. But if you're a minority, I know that with dump trucks you can get a lot of work, contracted work with the um DOT. So you could try search DBE, MBE, and WBE if it's a woman-owned business. Look those things up if you're trying to get into government contracting, because you, when you get on that minority list, they got to give you some work. It's a, they get a tax credit for it. Just bought a 26, 26 International thinking about selling it. Why are you thinking about selling it already? Would you buy a Volvo miles for a new truck, 10K? Mm, I wouldn't I went really buy no Volvo at all because their parts are too expensive. Uh, I, I stick to Freightliners. My, all seven trucks I bought is free, Freightliners. The other truck I got that I own is a Freightliner and, and all of the, actually out of all of the rentals I got, I got three Freightliners in the international. So try me, what up, what up? Try me one of my 5k mentories. <laughs> I, I wish I could bring some more people in, man, but my business is so crazy. Um, my apologies to everybody who've been emailing me about trying to come into the mentoring program. I, it, I can't really let anybody else in probably f until about, Maybe like a month from now, once I once I hire all my drivers and everything, because I'm, I'm I'm training right now and I, and my opera, I had to get rid of my operations manager. So, well, one of my managers. So, Gibson all around trucking. What up? What up? Just hired my first driver for my box truck. Any advice? Yeah, just watch his logs. Make sure he good. You know, um, he, he following the protocol, man. Because that's them them drivers, man. I, I got a driver. I got a babysit right now. Never be on his logs. Man, his logs be messed up every day. But this is how it be. That's the life of, dri uh, of having the drivers. You buy or lease your semis. Um, I prefer to rent them, but it ain't nothing out here, so I had to buy the seven that I got now with the seven that I got coming. And Premier Finance, if for anybody who think um, Premier um, Penske Little Finance Company, they actually um shop around for the best rates for you because i was about to pay cash for my for five trucks dude called me and was like they could give me they'll give me like three hundred thousand. i'm like shit i can keep my money and go buy me some some more trailers so that's why i'm finna, I'm finna take all the money i got and just buy all assets i don't need to be sitting on no money 
sit on 20,000. I'm going to spend all hundreds, hundreds of thousands. So I can tie the rest of my money up. I already got money in crypto. My restaurant actually um, moving now. So, yeah. Tie up all of that money. I don't, the money needs to be working for you, not sitting in the bank. We don't need no dead money. The Amazon semi joint, what was the name again? Is it only for teams or multiple drivers and not solo drivers? Lastly, is an opportunity to own the truck. Now, I don't think it's no opportunity for them to own a truck. It seems to me like they just want to hire a high paid slave. That's just my opinion. But if I if I was at the post office and Amazon offered me an opportunity and I had 40,000, hell yeah, I'm taking it because it's going to be to make 100,000. You still gonna be the boss. It's just they gonna be telling you how to run your business. It's almost like buying a franchise. Put it like that, because they gonna give you the plug on everything, fuel cards. So they gonna give you the. They gonna take care of the maintenance. So for somebody starting off to get the learning transportation, it's a good thing. To answer your question, it is solo drivers. They just want like one driver to do three days, another driver to do four days, and then they all they alternate in between. You see what I'm saying? Cause you and they they make you to put all your drivers W two, that's all type of stuff like like that. Like it's like they making you do it a certain type of way. They making you pretty much pay the driver a certain rate. Of course, the driver got to dress up in their stuff. They basically trying to have you do that for them, so they ain't got to have a liability. That's what it is in real business sense. But you can fuck around and make a hundred, two hundred grand. So if I ain't have a hundred grand, I'd definitely be the man for them. So you got to do what you got to do so you can do something better. You know, a lot of people want to be, I ain't going to do that. They ripping me off. Well, if you if your ass ain't got the money, shit, you know, shit, it might be a, might be a good idea to go ahead and do that. You feel me? So if I get a interest rate on my DOT exam, would that affect me? Amazon loads? Can I still go to? I don't know, man. I ain't never heard no interest rate. Ain't no interest rate on my DOT, uh, on DOT. I just always, this has always been the one that I know of. Just, you just get the DOT. I never even knew it was an interstate or interest rate. And I've been able to go wherever with mine. I got progressive quote. It's, it will be 1400 for four covers. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm paying like six, I was paying 1600 on my box trucks with progressive. That was super high, but Hey, like I said, it, um, I got rid of them because I couldn't justify paying that, but the semis I can. So, what company do you go through for your gas cars? I got a calm data. I was dealing with the Amazon. They said they no longer doing a fuel car, so they let us. So they negotiated something with calm data. Like I said, Amazon be doing some cool shit. They negotiate something with calm data to where we keep the perks. I keep the 31 cents a gallon for loves just because I'm, I was with Amazon. Then 20 cents at petrol TA. And I, so I'm like, shit. So now I got it on my own. They approved me for like, 14, 15,000 a week in fuel. It's time to play ball. If you had to do it all over again, would you start with box trucks, but you just got rid of the ones you had? Please explain. I'm saying if I could do it all over again, I would do semis. But I'm saying if I was starting from the beginning, it was easier for me to learn the game in the box truck because I can actually drive it. So I, so I actually went to the locations. Versus some people who are trying to start with a semi who never even drove a box truck, it be it's gonna be tough because they never knew what it was like to go to a shipper and wait and have to fucking sit there. So with me, I was out there actually making delivery. So I know what it's like to go to the place, unload the truck, wait for them, you know, um, have to get lumber fees or you know, just trying to get trying to build for detention time. I know about all of that. So that's why I wouldn't have done it differently. I would just wish I was smarter with what loads I took. The only mistake I really made was taking loads that didn't pay a fuck enough. That's the only thing I made. I just didn't know my numbers. And other than that, I wouldn't trade none of it because that's how I'm so good as a boss now because I understand that the, I know when the driver's bullshitting me. I'm like, dude, I had a driver that was at the mall for like two hours. Like, dude, you're supposed to have a 30 minute break. Go to the pickup. You know, so it just. Just one of those things, man. Everybody try to get over. I'm in Chicago. I was afraid of I was going to be paying too much. Paying too much for insurance? Oh no, no. Oh no. Well, you are you in a market. So so Jim, keep this in mind. You in the Midwest. You in a market that it nigga, if your insurance was two thousand, you would be good because they offering 
35 more cents per mile out there than they offering out here. So you can afford that. That's the good thing about the Midwest. I just don't really, I, for some reason, I, I put out an ad for drivers out there. I ain't get no bite. So I'm like, I'm going to stay my ass in the South then. So I don't, I don't know what it is, but I could not get people to bite on my, on my ad. Or do you hire owner ops? What is this question? I have owner operators that run for me and I have my own company driver. So, and I dispatch for people too. My new dispatch rate is going to be for anybody with a semi. I'm going to start doing, so I get up to 10 trucks. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start doing 350 a week and I can get you at least six grand. Depending on how you want to run. But uh, some people are going to be getting nine grand because they run to nine, 10 grand because they run harder. So, I am taking new people on the dispatch side, just not um, just not in my mentoring program. What kind of money should I have to start if I got 30K? 30K saved up. 30K is enough. Uh, well, it is. I can make in this market right now, I can make 30 grand work. Cause I try to go, I try to go to Penske or go to Premier, get them to finance it. I try to see if they can let me put down 20% on a sixty thousand dollar truck, maybe. That's 20 grand, plus you got enough for your insurance. And then if you just sign up with, uh, if you hit my link in the bio with OTR, sign up with them, they'll factor you your loads and pay you in 24 hours and they'll advance you the fuel. So you won't even, um, for that load, so you won't even need fuel money. All you would need is a little maintenance money, or I would suggest that you buy a warranty. So if you got 30K, at least hopefully you got like a $10,000 credit card or something. If I had that, I would definitely hop in the game for sure. On uh, CJ asked about Sprinter vans. I don't know anything about Sprinter vans. What, why about the ports having so much freight sitting? What's your thoughts on that? I mean, I keep hearing about it. I don't really have an, I'm not the type of person that really has an opinion on everything. Um, it might seem like that because I talk a lot, but. Not really. As far as the, the the stuff sitting, I don't even know why it's sitting. But somebody was telling me that it had something to do with not not having enough people to unload or something like that. But like I said, I don't really know. That's why I stick with the dry freight. You know, it, I, I know the dry freight gonna move. I don't even t- trip off the. I, I actually tried. I went to, I went and sat down with somebody about intermodal, tried to get into the rails. I'm like. The only way I do that is if I had rental trucks because they pull in like 55,000 pounds. And I'm like, that shit going to tear your truck up fast. You got to use an old raggedy bucket truck for that shit. What's the percentage of the top of your dispatch or semi power? What per- what's the percentage off top for you to dispatch or semi power only? Now, semi power only. I'm going to have to charge a percentage on 10 because ain't no telling. Like, that's some hard shit to do. For me, if you don't got no trailer, I have to charge. But anybody who got a trailer, I charge 350 350 a week. Flat, a flat, flat fee. What company do you go through for your gas? Chip shortage. Dr. Glock, yep. I keep hearing about the chip shortage. I'm 20 and I'm looking to start a trucking business. What are the things? I need to do and work on so I can get into the game as a young guy. You can take my next class on the 17th so you can get some general knowledge. But, um, yeah, you just it's just really knowing what you want to do, like being decisive. You either going to rent a truck or you're going to buy the truck. You got to determine whether you commit into this game or not. And I feel like that's another reason why I'm, I'm going to retweet the people that I bring into the program because I wouldn't take anybody that can't buy a truck because – I don't want a person to get to the end of the program and then be like, well, you ain't helped me find a rental truck. Like, well, like I can get, like, I'm not in control of if Ryder or Pinsky or Hogan or whoever got rental trucks. You know what I'm saying? That's an idea that I would go with. Hell, I can't even get them now. So that that's that's the game, though. You know, that, that it ain't really nothing that we can, that ain't really nothing that, that I can really go, you know, change for real. So, you know, I guess I need to get everybody to understand what, What's con- the controllables and the non-controllables? I ca- I kind of feel GQ's keys. I think yeah. Um, I, um, I said calm data earlier. Maybe you didn't hear me though. How are you finding your drivers? I'm finding my drivers on Indeed. 
paying good money for them. I am leading a semi, leasing a semi for new. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's good. Hey, plug me in, plug me in. I'm gonna try. Uh, MHC was saying they was gonna try to do something with me, but the leases, eh, I don't really know. I'm a I'm gonna buy these truck these, these these trucks right now and see what's up. Let's see what time it is. Nine thirty two. Okay, damn, I'm way behind on these questions. Shouts out to Marquise Paulin for the for the donation. I appreciate it. God bless. I got twelve thousand. How can I get started? Um, twelve thousand. I don't know, really, because like I said, you, that that'll work if you if, if rentals was available. But since it ain't no rentals, that just gonna make it a little bit, just a little bit, tad bit more difficult, you know. I hear you on that JB Hunter trailer chase. Oh yeah. And the crazy thing is, I actually got, I actually got, um dedicated stuff so i did i have a trailer going up but now every time i get up to durham they ain't got no trailer so i'm like okay we finna go ahead and get off of this man because i ain't i ain't about to do that i'm in the process of purchasing two trucking companies in north carolina when the dust settles we will have 96 power units and over 300 trailers all right hey, hey that's what's up let me in on that <laughs> let me in I definitely want to put in on that. I feel you on the driver. If you find a good driver, it's an art. Yeah. You got to try them. You still got the 5K mentorship. I think I just touched on that. Yeah. But it's going to be about a month or a while before I let anybody in. I got, I got, you can sign up, hit my website and sign up for the waiting list now. What's the best and least risky way to lease on to a carrier? I never leased on to no to nobody, so I don't really know. Um, I don't really know that. What company do you go through for your gas car? Damn. I guess I guess he probably just kept asking that because I I, I guess I didn't realize how far behind I was. Thirty k for a truck and trailer. I don't, I don't know what that is. And this bar is twenty six international from Texas. Actually driving it back to Illinois right now, I had to stop in. Haiti, Missouri was about to run out of driving hours. Okay. All right, that's what's up. Congrats. Hope you ain't get no 2012, man. Them trucks was trash. You have any hot shot trucks? Nope. Strictly just semis right now. I, I, ain't, I ain't doing nothing else but semis. All right, now this thing just skipped over everybody on uh, stuff. All right, hold on. It just skipped over everybody's. Damn, that's a lot of questions. Shit. I ain't going to never, I ain't going to never catch up with these. Shit. I'm going to try to, I, I still got about 35 minutes um, or, or a little bit longer. God damn, this hella questions. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I got, I could do this. I'm going to speed through them. What's your prediction on how autonomous trucks will affect small fleet owners? Um, I would just say get big with them. You know, I mean, that's why I'm expanding my fleet because I'm seeing that I'm either going to get out or I'm going to have to get big because being small, it ain't, it ain't going to be no thing. Like I would, I would be predicting, like I would find somebody with another 10 trucks and we can merge together. That would make sense. Like, but being small right now, I just I just don't think it's gonna be a good look because if they pass the bill for the insurance to go up to two million from seven hundred fifty thousand, that's gonna make your insurance twice as much to get twice as higher. So that means the barrier of entry to get in is gonna be twice as so that means with a semi, if it was three or four, three or four grand now, that means it's gonna be eight or nine grand, you know, seven or eight and nine grand. A lot of people ain't gonna be able to get in with that. So you got high trucks and high insurance. Next, that's why I'm buying right now because I know the prices are gonna spike back up again. I know that. D 
you log all of your truck miles on Safeway? No, I don't. Will MC it say cancel your MC if you don't have a truck? No, um, if you if you go along without getting your MC active, they'll just make you pay for it again, though. You gotta repay the register. I have twelve thousand. How can I start? I think I answered that already. People flipping twenty six trucks now. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> what up, cuz? If you're looking for box truck dispatch and hit me up, yeah. I definitely don't want no parts of that. No parts of no box truck dispatcher. Box trucks is an art to make money with those. With the DDU space, if you could run a mug night and day, you, you'd be on the money. I got a 2007 freight, but I don't have, I guess the one I want to say, I guess it's trying to say Freightliner, but I don't have a LLC. Is it a program at Amazon I could do without LLC? No, just get an LLC. A LLC is a hundred dollars or fifty dollars in most states. It's it's too cheap to not to not get it. No, no company's gonna want to do business with you if you can't even afford to get an LLC or you ain't willing to put the money up. That's just that's just I'm just being honest. Been looking for trailers, can't find anything nowhere, and there's six more. Yep, that's why that's why I'm buying. I'm buying six more. I tried to tell a dude, let me buy ten of them, but he said he gotta let the other sales guys get some. And I ain't telling y'all where they at because y'all not already got all my rental trucks from me. Now nah, I ain't I ain't giving out no more of that unless you take my class. Oh, Trami said he went in with with Premier. Ah, congrats, Trami. Started in the class, went to my mentor program. Good, good, good guy to work with. What are the top brokers for a new owner op? Eh, I would say off the top of my head, C.H. Robinson is really good. Um, CQL is whack, but they got freight. Um, Werner. I can't think of nobody else, man, because it's been a long time since I've been new. So I got a list, though, of like 30 of them that comes with, if, if you take my class, it, um, it actually comes with that, but I can't think of them at front on, on top of my head right now. I was at the main post office in St. Louis running shuttle routes, a short term contract to Illinois. It was a great experience. I, I'm, I definitely that'll be the dream to have some dedicated contracts with the post office, like for real. Yeah, I don't know any net thirty um, fuel cards either. Oh yeah, Wex, Wex is a net thirty fuel card, I believe. Eh, yeah. They 30, yeah. Yeah, they 30 days. But they don't give you no um no perks though. I need that 31 cents off the gallon. I'm in Ohio thinking about getting in. Can I make decent money with the box truck to start out? If I drive the truck myself, I would say, yeah, you just gotta be strategic. Henry said, How's the restaurant? We finally got the electrical permit and the plumbing permit passed. So now they can start working. We just gotta um, finalize mechanical. So the work should be done by hell no, nah, we didn't want to open up in the middle of the winter, but we're gonna have to do a soft opening or something because I gotta get some of my money back. We already say about fifty thousand in on rent, thirty two hundred a month for a building just sitting. What well, insurance company I recommend? Um I got a guy named Steve, but I ain't really trying to send him no more business. Um for real. <laughs> I would say just shop around for insurance. I don't even want to recommend nobody for real no more. They ain't paying me. I ain't want to recommend. Because what happened is that when I'm recommending people, I can help people so much for the free, but you got to pay for the kind of like the game because now if my, the person that I was building with is bombarded, <laughs> shit, they ain't giving me no good service for real no more. Sounds selfish, but shit, hey, ain't nobody gave me none of this game, period. So I feel like even if I'm answering one question, it's, it's more than what I've, I've ever got. I know, hold on, what do you say? I know where they they got used trailers at near me, MPA, across the bridge from me. I grabbed the Amazon load from a yard. 
close by and ran into them. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Hey, man. If you want to share the knowledge with me, that's cool. But I would, if I if I had the money, if you got the money, man, you better buy them ones because them trailers are going to be worth like gold in a second. I'm thinking about getting, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to have more trailers than trucks. Hey, can you got dispatches for new authority? Yeah, for, for the semi only. Semi only dispatch. Good evening, everyone. This is Will out of Columbus, Ohio. What information can you can you give to keep more money in your pockets after taxes? Not a tax expert though, but um definitely in a trucking depreciation give you a whole lot of money back for like 57 cents a mile. And plus you could depreciate the truck. So if you own it, I believe you can you could depreciate at least two as well. You still have some box truck for sale. Yep, I just got they just still in the shop though. Man, I still can't find a rental. Everybody else finding them somehow. Yeah, like if you ain't if you ain't calling every single day, like different states, you ain't gonna find this. This is how I found the trail. I call about 15, 16 different states. And finally found some in Texas. How much should the loads pay for box trucks? Like how much per mile? I mean, I feel like it depends on your cost, but nothing less than two dollars a mile. And when I put my box trucks over the road, I wasn't, I was getting. I was averaging probably like a dollar eighty eight, and that shit, that shit was just, it was garbage, man. It was, it was garbage. I hated it. I'm glad that that I'm, I'm, I'm over that situation, putting them trucks over the road. It, to me, it just didn't make sense. But like I said, when you don't get it twisted, when you see better, like when you see a semi that that goes from Atlanta to North Carolina, and you make three thousand dollars profit, it make, you know, just, just kind of make other stuff look 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 not so appeasing anymore. What I need to do to link up with you to get uh, get you to dispatch me. If you already got the truck, just hit me up. Um, we can get started as early as tomorrow dispatching you. And I believe you my people's people. So I definitely got you. Um, if you who I think you are. I believe so, though. I, I, I'm 100% that. Yeah, so just um, just hit me in an email and, and, um, and just put the subject. Um, you, we talked about dispatching on the live. But I know I'm gonna recognize that name though. I I I can't be mistaking you for somebody else. I don't think so. Hey brother, I'm new, I'm a new authority box truck from Raleigh, North Carolina area. I got um uh, thirty thousand dollars renting. I don't know if I understand it. Or maybe I don't understand it. But I'm thinking you're trying to say you got thirty thousand dollars saved up and you plan on renting. That's what I think you're saying. But that'd be a good plan if you could find a rental. I would actually pay for somebody to give me some, find me some used trailers, 2014 or more or, or, or newer. And you could find me a rental. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for that information. Don't want it for free. It's valuable. It's that valuable. I'm willing to pay somebody. I'm trying to break into the business down here in Macon. Are you taking on new drivers? Hell. Yes, I'm looking for drivers. I actually, I got about three drivers I'm about to hire for making. I'm just trying to find me a drop yard in making to um to park my trucks. I said I'll work for you. Hit me up, lol. You saying work work for me as a driver or what? How is Amazon relaying Cali? Don't know. Uh, and what's the best insurance for box trucks? Um, you can just search just search commercial truck insurance. Just make sure you go somewhere that specializes in truck insurance. I got 30K, but one big question I got a question for you. Why are you consistently going live during Thursday night football? That's not helping me catch any of these free games. <laughs> Hey, you know what, man? See, I don't watch football. So, like, I don't, I don't even watch TV for real. So, and the Rams, I do know that the Rams playing right now. And I did want to see the game because it's the only team that I really like. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't, I ain't really into sports like that. I'm into, I'm into get, making sure my kids ain't ever got no mice or no rats in their house. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really focused on that. And, I just mind my own business. They out there entertaining shit. I, I got to get mine too. They getting paid for what they do. So 
So I focus on getting my paper too. I don't really like to be a spectator. I like to be, you know, the person that's actually, I don't, I don't like to be caught up and being a consumer, consuming everything. I want to be selling and I want people to be consuming what I'm selling. You know, because you got to be on one side. I just rather be on a, the side where I'm, of, of, of the seller. Do you dispatch for owners with new MCs? Yes, I do. I'm actually looking for, I'm welcoming new dispatch clients. We need plenty of them, plenty of them. We got the flat rate coming up here in a minute. Um, 350 a truck. When when will semi trucks prices go down? Probably like that's it. If you, if you know, let me know. I, I will wait. But I think whenever they the manufacturers catch up with the demand, they'll probably go down. But we finna hit a great reset. Everything going up. When everything going up like this. That bubble finna pop, and I finna be right there collecting all of the bags. Do you have anyone who dispatch loads for a cargo van? Nope. Not enough carriers in Cali. That is true. The South SC port is back up. It's back up because of long sort of shortage. How much do you charge to dispatch a box truck? I will not dispatch a box truck. No, 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 no. 22 young. I thought you had to be at least 21. To what, get a CEL? Cause like, you could be get a CEL at 18. I got my own semi and trailer. You need what you need for me to link up and dispatch me on your your area, moving from Michigan to Georgia, Florida area. Um, All we got to do is just sign a little agreement agree to the to the rate um and and dispatch you know just um you gotta let me know your lanes i'm gonna send you the jpeg logistics link you gonna you sign up you're gonna put your links in there um you know your preferred lanes and everything so the dispatcher we can print it out and they, they know how to dispatch your truck but but we got you as soon as you're ready so just put dispatching my um my team they 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 afford it over to me to the trucking side Cause I don't control my emails for real no, no, no more. So if you emailing me in, it's gonna be is it's gonna be called by somebody else in the art, even even my social media and stuff. The only way to get directly to me is to book a call. Book a call now. And I ain't really gonna have my schedule that open for that. It's peak season, y'all. Like peak season is the Biggest, best time. So all for all y'all that been in it, y'all know. Like, this is the time of the year to 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 get into trucking and, and, and get it going. Cause January could be ugly. I got three box trucks out of the Midwest looking for OTR dispatch. How much are rates? I don't I won't I don't do it. Automatic or stick shift. I got all automatic trucks. So if you're trying to come on board, or y'all know anybody, and I pay y'all. Like if, if y'all find me a driver. Good driver, clean driving record. I pay you. I need seven drivers right now for the seven new trucks that I bought. I, I think I got I got some possibles, but like I said, and until they start and take their road test, I ain't counting them in because you know anybody that know them them drivers, they be should I fuck with hot shot? I don't know. I don't know. I'm running a box truck, running Amazon locally, but ready to buy either a semi or a box truck. Which one would you suggest? But I don't have my CDL license. I would suggest a, a semi, of course, because if I showed you the load, but it's always jumping. It's always something moving. So. Chicago's very young. Who the hell is Chicago's very young? I don't know. Huh, I think I skipped somebody though. Dana Holland says she buying a box truck this weekend. I feel you. Go on here. You either gonna get in or not. You need a corporation. Hold on. All right, so he said, I'm still confused. I keep hearing you. Have to have at least a CDL class B for a box truck and other people saying you don't. It depends on the state. 
Now in Georgia, I was in Georgia and Arizona, and all you need is a regular license. But in Missouri, where I'm from, you don't need a class B. You need a you need like a chauffeur's license. So and that's that's if it's twenty six thousand pounds. Now if it's twenty six thousand one pounds, you do need a class B license. So and like my boys Green say say get them likes up y'all for sure. Boy said it's hella questions. Oh yeah, it definitely is. I'm like, damn. My brain about to short out. I only got like four hours of sleep, man. But I'm feeling good though, man. I feel feeling good to be back on this live. Now I ain't gotta keep moving my damn setup. I could just come on. I can go live every fucking day. Cause it be taking me so long just to get my damn live set up. And then I ain't gotta worry about my kids being all loud and all that extra shit. Just go live and be good peacefully. And respectfully, I have the opportunity to buy a semi for a great price for my boss, but these new owner op laws got me skeptical. Any thoughts? Don't even, I don't even know about it. I keep hearing people talking about them, but it don't really pertain to me. So I don't really, you know, I'm not an owner op. So I don't, I don't really even know. But if you shed light on what it says, then we can, we can talk about it. I have not, no problem with that. Wait and listen six months for trailers. Hold on, y'all. Let me get some of this water real quick. Amazon is, he said, what do you know about AB5? Nothing. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. like put me on some game too, y'all. Let's I mean let's exchange this game real quick. Amazon is no buying is not no buying or renting trailers from people because of the short. It's now buy okay. Amazon is now buying. Okay, I bet they are. Everybody need trailers, bro. That's why I'm like shit. Dude said they had twenty more. I'm like I damn like nigga. Let me get all of them. It's like this is. And then, and then a lot of the truck parking space places are getting filled up too. So I'm like, damn, I need me some damn um some some land too. Do you get same day pay on pay pay for picking up loads on DAT? Also, I like to buy your book. Oh yeah, so just go on my website, kobepegway.com is actually right here at the bottom of the screen. They're just go on there and yeah, um. Yeah, you can factor loads. Actually, like I said, my factoring company is in the link in this description. You can link up with them. And they actually, Triumph used to be on DAT. Now OTR is on DAT. And you could you could factor your loads directly from there. Or you can sign up with them. And they, 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 they'll tell you who. Their, their broker check. Y'all definitely knew people getting the game. Y'all better check out these people because some of these people ain't paying. Like Arco. Arpco. Shit, they, a lot of these companies don't be fucking paying, man. Kobe, have you tried government? Have you tried government contracts for minorities? They say there's a lot of money. Um, yeah, I actually I signed up for all of that. I just ain't never go through with it. But yeah, I mean it's something I need to um dig in. But if I could focus just on trucking, I'd really be I'd really be a beast. But I'm I'm really interested in this restaurant and this other stuff I be doing. I don't, I'm not I'm not the type of person that like to do the same thing. So I gotta um have other things going on just because sameness drives me fucking crazy. I got every day got to be different for me. I've been looking for you on Tuesdays, bro. Keep bringing the knowledge. Hey man, I'm gonna try to get back with some consistencies on Tuesdays, man. But I got like I said, all my kids are small. So they they in karate they got it's, it's just a bunch of one day they got sports gymnastics type of stuff going on and they um yeah they learning how to cook and i got them a new kitchen in the basement for them to learn how to cook and stuff like that so and then my house being remodeled too so i'm having a lot of stuff going on how do you usually find drivers indeed let's see damn i thought i ain't even clock Am I close? No, I'm, I'm still 15 minutes behind on here. Fuel man, gas car, and that 30 for whoever was looking for it. Donuts, True North Insurance. I heard of them too. Don't don't know much about them, but he putting the game out there. Where in PAC? I am there every week. Need trailer.
Anthony, good driver, CDL driver, hit me in my thing and put um good CDL driver. I, I definitely, I definitely need me some guys. I need seven, seven drivers. Give me a brief idea of what your schedule looks like as a fleet owner. Prior to me getting rid of my operations manager, I probably only worked about two hours a day. Now, since I got to do his job, I'm probably working like 16 hours a day. But I'm training somebody else up right now to um to do that. So, yeah. So, it's – I really – my job only really consists of looking at the dispatch, making sure everything's good, looking at logs, and making sure that – Everything is getting built for real. That's it. Everybody else is doing all of the, all of the, the 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 real work. I would say, I just go to my lot and make sure everything good. You know, see, if, make sure there no dents and stuff on trucks. But every day is different, though. They pay a lot for a lot more up here in oh yeah, oh yeah for sure, definitely. What are you asking for your box trucks that get got for sale? They twenty twelves. Automatics, I'm asking 30,000 for them each, 30,000 each. They got lift gate and they got a ramp on them and they got two tanks and they 26 foot, they they tall and wide, everything. And they and they got an air, um, well, hold on, not air, <laughs> like St. Louis, but air. They got air ride. Hopefully I said that right, air ride. The box, so the box can go down and stuff like that. Let me hit me up. I'm a dispatcher. If you get any trailers, I'll rent one from you. <laughs> yeah, I actually got like one of my trailers rented out, but man, shit, it, it, it's gonna be peak. I ain't rent, I ain't renting them jokers out no more. Gotta do Amazon relay without lift gate. You could, but then you might get stuck at a spot where you might need it. Smart cookie. Buying a box truck this weekend. Rams losing right now. Oh man, not again. Did they just lose last week, I think. What did do Douglasville in here? What up, Chris? Green. What year are your semis? 20. Um, the the ones that I the red one that I own now is 2015. The ones that I'm buying are all 2016s. All condos, all Freightliner Cascadias. You in the city with the guy who has a big fleet of trailers. You in the A, right? Yeah. Um, I yeah, I that's my boy. He be selling it. He be selling them trailers though. And also the trailers be happen to be like a certain age. So people like it's, it is trailers out here, but they just they, they have to be like most of the for certain certain things, they either gotta be full grade, which means they gotta have like the white walls and not the wood walls. So a lot of trailers is out here got the wood walls, so those won't do me no good because a lot a lot of um shippers don't want you to you don't want to have it. They need to be food grade. So just in case you're moving water or anything like that, they 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 want you to have them food grade. So I don't want to be living it to what I can move. So that's why all mines that I got now are 2014s. I got three 2014s, two 2016s, and I'm going to buy the rest of the others I'm getting is 2014. 2014s. So yeah, they all utility trailers. Yeah, they all utility trailer brand. And then the other ones I got are Vanguard. Yeah, they're 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 And, 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 and yeah, I'm in the A. Do you help recruit drivers? Nah. Shit, that shit is a hard job for myself. Why did you leave Arizona? Because Arizona was hard. It was hard, man. The, the A is easy. Atlanta is easy money out here. Always freight. Hella brokers. It's like you could just make easy money. It just, it's just simple. It's always freight going out. It's always freight coming in. So I could shoot the Virginia every day, come back. North Carolina, South Carolina, Nashville, Memphis. Just do that shit. I can I can hit them four spots, and I know I'm gonna eat. I know I'm at least gonna pull down at least twenty five hundred or more. Do you broker? Yep. What the hell is all these? Block this user. All right, I ain't had to kick nobody out before. Yeah, they had to go with all of that booty, booty, booty shit they on. The fuck is they doing? 423 Logistics LLC. 
in the building we spoke a few months ago. I'm in Knoxville. Keep giving the game, homie, for show. Salute. With State of UN, I'm in Georgia. Um, thoughts on 1099 trucking companies? Not sure what you mean by that. Does that mean that they 1099 as in they got their drivers 1099? Which just is cool because most small companies are like that anyway. So that I don't see nothing wrong with it at all. I think I'm actually catching up with these. You're looking for drivers in Savannah area. Now, I ain't, I ain't opposed to it. I, um, hit me up, Alvin White. If you got if you got two years experience, because I, 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 I was talking to somebody from Lake. I was talking to somebody from. Hold on real quick. Yeah, my alarm was going off at, at my house. But yeah, um, but yeah, definitely let me know. When does peak start and end? Peak is like second week. Pretty much it really gets intense after Black Friday, but like two weeks, basically two weeks into around the 15th of November. That's when it starts to but after Black Friday to take off. So it's like that's a, it's, it's the best eight weeks of the year. That's November and December, I counted all as peak. Do you have a Peterbilt? Nope. Only Freightliners, Romello Thomas. Where can I see the trucks you sell? Oh no, I don't, I don't got them posted yet because I ain't um they ain't, they ain't out the shop yet. I see that you have Portland in your background. I just picked up my truck today and going to hit the road tomorrow. Oh no, nah, Portland. Um, I got a, I got some cool partners out there, but I just liked this picture because um, the trucks because they had a semi in the box truck. You know, you can, I could turn so you can see it. But yeah, yeah, I just liked it. That it just gave me good. It just gave me good, good trucking vibes. BFW is definitely a good spot. Do you always try to find the load coming back so your truck isn't isn't Bob Oh hell yeah. I can't see it being worth it if it's if it isn't always hauling, especially for long trips. Oh yeah, I'm always getting a backhaul. <clears throat> My truck will stay <clears throat> somewhere for an extra day before it come back without nothing. How's the process to finance a truck as a new business? I don't know the process. I just know you call Premier and they just make shit happen. That's all I know. That's all I know. I see that you, okay, I see that. All right, I answered that question already. I've been having to do all my eating in PA. So, good question. For anybody who just getting in, Florida rates are so low because, I mean, it's simply, it's simply just the location of the fact that you only got one direction. You, you can only go north. So, so let's go ahead and have this quick little, hold on. I'm gonna come back to that and see if I can catch up on the questions. I'll kind of show y'all a map, a, a freight map, so y'all can see um, why each place pays what it what it pay. I got I got a map that can show y'all. Okay, definitely because we have the ports down here and it's a lot of freight moving. Yeah, if you could put me on to that, I don't mind having Savannah, Savannah to the GA. I mean Savannah up to Atlanta, where. Will they post it at when out the shop? Oh, are they gonna be on Facebook Marketplace or either offer up or something like that? How long before the box trucks? Man, look, I had a box truck been in the shop for five months. So your guess is as good as mine. I gave up on the whole game because I'm like, I just feel like they playing with me. Should I get my CDL before I start my business? I don't have a CDL and I'm about to have 12 trucks. You don't need it. All you need is the money, some know-how, some grind, some grind and some time. You gotta put some time in. How much would you say you need to start a sem with the sem the semi route and purchase route? Which one's better? How much for each route? Huh? How much would you say you need to start with a semi rental? I don't know. Run that back to me again, because I, I don't I don't really understand what that what that question is asking. But I'm also kind of tired too, though. So what's the average time? Average length of time drivers will stay before you look for new ones. 
Um, I had some drivers for like months. Like typically I fire drivers. I don't really have drivers that really leave. I usually fire them because they don't want they don't want to do their loss or either they graduate to like an owner operator, like where so I still so they they don't drive from me as in my company, but JPEG Logistics still dispatch for them or JPEG Logistics still brokers for them. Because my brokering company is my dispatch company. So a lot of the people they just get them a truck and just move over because they know I got that work. How's Amazon now? Is it a stay away? I don't really do much with Amazon. Uh, I got a manager that runs the the trucks that they got. We got eight that we finna move up to like 12 for peak. Makes me about five, six G's a week. I don't even know what the hell going on with it outside of the numbers. She looks, she showed me. They look good. I say keep going. The moment that I look at them and they suck, yeah, we'll be done with it. Do you still have an on have the online course ebook? I have I do have the book. And the course is on the 17th. And I don't know when I'm going to do another one after that one. So my time in here is limited with like being online and stuff. I'm, I'm going to try to do it as a, I'm going to try to just, when I'm going to start doing this, I'm going to start just going live while I'm working during the daytime. So y'all can kind of see what I'm actually doing. Because if I got to stop every single time, that shit, that shit, it gets irritating. I'm in the Washington States. What's the best truck I can buy just starting out the business? I, I like Freightliners because they like Chevys. They're easy to fix and they parts everywhere. So never. And the crazy thing is I got Freightliners. They're still waiting on parts now, but it's all computer stuff. Like, don't they do not get them. Oh, my God. I ain't even. I know these trucks are going to sell, but I would say do not get an auto shift fucking truck. Um, Auto shift because these trucks, like my other Freightliners that had the Allison transmissions, great. These ones with the auto shifts, that, that's why they in the shop, because the auto shift shit is like messed up and it's like electronic. So stay away from those. They suck. Big up to Kobe. I need to come chop it up with you in the A. I've been busy as fuck with this authority. But we definitely got to link up soon so I can get a quick class, G. All right, for sure. Link up with me. Moving forward, anybody who getting a mentoring program, I'm actually going to we actually gonna do a um a day in a life like fly out and because i think when people see how see how this is on a on a real on a real day i might actually just have it hey matter of fact that's actually a good idea hit me up if y'all would want to do like a day in a life if y'all would be if y'all would want to pay for a day in like an eight hour day in a life where y'all could just shadow me where I'm going through every single part of the business for like eight hours. Cause that, that could be something that could be good for somebody. I ain't never, I just thought about it. I'm like, well, what are people, cause then that way I, ain't, I can help you without fucking slowing down, without it slowing me down, like stopping to do a live. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can show you what I'm doing in real time. Are box trucks the wrong move right now? If the numbers make sense, anything's the right move. I just know I just like semis. I ain't gonna say nothing against box trucks no more. I won't speak against it. It's just like I said, I, I know how to I'm in Atlanta and semi trucks is too easy to not do. It ain't that hard to find a driver. It's it ain't easy, but it ain't hard to find drivers and then it ain't hard to find work. So in the process of getting a semi, why are you why are people choosing automatic over manual? Because most people that's coming out with a CDL or you know, having an automatic restriction, which means they only can drive automatics. Where can we contact you for that? Let me see. Just um send it to my email. Say I'm interested in. I don't even know what to call it. Um, let's call it day in a life. Say let's just say I'm interested in the day in a life. Um. No, I don't like day in the life. I would call it, bro. I don't even know. Just I don't even know what to call it. Just call, just say the shadow Kobe for the day. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people saying they're interested. So yeah, we could do that. I can I can create that where y'all where y'all can come to the A. Now y'all gonna have to, you know, get your own ticket or whatever. But you know, I'm gonna do that because I actually want to see y'all. Um, do a poll to get real numbers. I don't even know how to do a poll, G. Like for real. Let me see. Nah. This ain't gonna give me no poll. Yeah, I don't even know how to do that. How to do a poll. 
Hello, thank you for your professional guidance and time you give us. Do you have any recommendations for raising capital? I started my company in June and my truck went into the shop. No ETA. Hey, trust me. I know exactly what you mean with that no um, ETA. So, so yeah, um, raising capital. The main thing I tell people to do is start an LLC, which you probably already got one. And if you're working or whatever other money you're doing, have it go into that account. Then you can get you, like, if you show consistency in an account, then they'll give you, a, um, like, a working capital loan for, like, just three months bank statement. So if you can get 5000 there, they might end up giving you 10000 or something. I don't know if, that, if, if it makes sense, but just look up, look up working capital. It, it is all based on your own um, bank statements and what you got coming in. What's, what's your email? I'm in the A. My, e, my email is info at, it's info at kobepegway.com. So here's my, so if you look at the bottom, it's kobepegway.com. Just put info at kobepegway.com and just put something in a, um, in a, in a subject line. It's, it's like, um, shadow Kobe for a day or something like that. It's a YouTube post once you get off live. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know how to do that. Thanks, Um, Big, I wanna say Big B here at TV. I want, I, hopefully I'm saying that right. But yeah, yeah, definitely, Um, big, there you go. Business shadowing with Kobe, that's a good idea. Thanks, Um, Brandon. That's a super, super, super good idea. And that's a perfect name, business shadowing with Kobe. So put that on the subject line or something like that so I could, Definitely, um, I could definitely do that. I probably could do like maybe one or two of those a week. Well, really, I could probably do one every day because I do this shit every day. <laughs> so it ain't like it ain't like I ain't doing it, and that'd be kind of cool because I literally like I show y'all going to the truck lot. Y'all can see um, how everything go, how like where I, or like where I park the trucks and all that. How many can follow you? I don't know. I think. I think two people, um, I think two people probably could be cool. Cause it like, I, cause if I'm sitting in my office, I can have some one person on each side looking at, cause I'll be having my two screens everywhere with me. So yeah, I, I could definitely have two people. I could show you how I dispatch. Cause ain't none of it hard. It's really just, you gotta just kind of like, if you around me, you're going to pick up the lingo. This is what I tell somebody, Hey, look, I could teach you from before, but if you just spend, if, if it's just one day, man, that, that'd be, it, it'd be easy to just pick up on like how I talk to the brokers. It ain't really, it ain't, it ain't hard. The game is not hard. It's just be staying in it to learn everything. It's not hard though at all, especially with the semis. Try me, you already in man. So just all you gotta do is book your flight. You ain't gotta pay no more. You already in the mentoring program. Just come on down. Come on down. Try me. Five, I'm 500 miles away from you, big homie. Yeah, I actually caught up with these damn um, things. I didn't think I was going to catch up with them. It only took an hour and 14 minutes to catch up with these. Let me see. How, approximately how much can you make passively with semi truck with your company dispatching? Um, Right now in this market, depending on where you at, if your truck, if you were willing to run your truck, if you're willing to run your truck in the southeast, if you're willing to do that, um, I would say the gross be 7500 8000 Hey Trauma, you can like look, just book the flight. You could book it for Monday, bro. We can do it. Book your flight for Monday, man. Come in and and we'll rock out. We will go to the office, we'll go to where I park the trucks. You can see me book some backhauls, all of that. Um do you do you move heavy haul? Nah. Never tried it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody who would like to do it, I'm gonna drop my email. Anybody who want to do the shadow, the shadow me thing. I don't even got no price or nothing for that. Like I literally just thought about it. I'm gonna talk to my um to my business manager and um and see and um and see what he think I should do for that.
So this is this is my direct email. And I and, and I can show you how to do interviews. I can actually create like a a whole thing of me doing interviews part of the day. Um <clears throat> yeah. Cuz I'm actually active. I'm I, I actually been real active and this will be the it's probably only going to last for like 2 months though because after I get all my drivers and stuff, I'm not going to, you know, my day don't really be that hard. It'll just be me just peeking in on shit. But right now I'm literally building it up, back up from the ground up. So this will be the most convenient time. What are some good platforms to look for drivers? Um, Like I said, Indeed, Facebook got a new um, thing you could post on Craigslist and just word of mouth. My very first driver was just word of mouth. And then after that, and then most of the time, drivers tell their friends. So a lot of the people I got, most of my drivers have been referrals from other drivers. So I don't, I haven't really spent a whole lot of time looking for just like random drivers. So how do I get loads with a semi as a new truck owner with a driver? Straight on DAT. All right, either right here. All right, look, I'm going to show y'all. Actually, I'm going to show y'all what I, what I wanted to show y'all a minute ago. Um, with this hold on hold on real quick let me see if i can um show y'all this this map of how you can see hold on real quick let me get logged into this let's see Where the beginning of this mug at? There we go. Okay, hold on. I'm finna uh, share my screen with y'all. Give me one second. I, I ain't got my other screen with me either, so I'm, I'm sharing um my exact one. So let's see if I can. Can y'all see my screen? I should be sharing like a tab though. Chrome tab. There we go. Can y'all see my screen? How much do I need to get started in the business? Hey, Tommy, just shoot me a text, man. Instead of asking me all these questions while on, on other on 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 everybody time, you got my direct line, Tommy. Don't be greedy like that, man. <laughs> Don't be greedy, Tom. Just text me. Let me get these these um get their questions answered. Okay, cool. So y'all can see that. So look directly at the map, and it'll show you pretty much where the loads is, where to stay away from. You know what I mean? So you see, you don't want to be here. You don't want to be in none of these spots right here. You see these? You don't want to be forty six. You want you don't want to be none of these spots. You see the Midwest. 529, 273, 378. You want to be there. Here's down in like Atlanta. So you see the Midwest is is bigger than everywhere else. California, the only spot that's even touching the Midwest, and California rates ain't got nothing on the Midwest. So for anybody who don't know, the main reason, look, look at Florida funky ass sitting down here with 81. I hate Florida when it comes to freight. So as you can see, the place that has the most directions you can go has the most freight. So right here is the like, even though it's, it seems a bit more east, but it still got, you still can go north, you still can go east, and you still can go west, and you still can go south. So because you got all them different directions, that's why the freight pays more in the middle. Places like her, places like her, it pays way more because it's more different directions you can go. That's why the Midwest is number one, and then the southeast is the second. See the southeast down here, Atlanta. It's a, it's a lot of freight down here because you went. You still can go south a little bit east. You still got at least three directions. So down here, you got like three big directions you can go. I heard you got a lot a lot of different directions you can go. You can go so many different ways with it. So that's what justifies the price. But like I said, if you just went on here and just did like Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, and just did search. For anybody who's just thinking, like, I could just got 
Big old power only loads, flatbed, and it's just JB Hunt flatbed driving. It's these are all loads that for the moral. And it's just one, just just JB Hunt where it's like DAT be jumping, jumping. It's just one. I just like the book on here because I get free quick pay and everything. But but yeah, it's um it's definitely like simple the concept is super simple of 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 really doing it is you know it's just all about doing it and sticking to it and being committed to it how late am i oh yeah you late late like we we about to go off courtney chicago land of midwest is popping just don't take no nah, you it ain't it ain't really like they they offering three dollars out there like it's just good. Like Illinois, like, I mean, I wish I, I, I don't say I was, wish I was back in St. Louis, but if I was there and I knew about trucking, I probably had never left because I done been making so much money. You know, I've been making, I've been making too much money. So what you think, what do you think is best leasing or buying tri- trucks to build your fleet? Both in any way you can get trucks for real. I would prefer to do rentals and leases, but the only reason why I'm against renting right now or leasing is because a lot of people don't have, um, like they don't have no replacements. Like my truck, my rental truck was just down for a week. They ain't had no replacement. So that defeats the whole purpose. The whole purpose is for me to rent so they can give me a replacement. So if they can't give me a replacement, no time soon, I'm going to buy seven trucks, even if I just got to keep them for six months until I can get rentals again. Kobe, for a startup motor carrier, what insurance companies are good and cheap? Um, like I said, I don't, I don't really want to recommend nobody on live because if they go and they experience is bad, then you know. But I would say just look at, just um, make sure that it's a commercial trucking is what they do. Don't go like I don't. Companies like Progressive is good in certain ways, but they never gonna be the cheapest because they gonna when they rate your drivers, they gonna rate your drivers off of they they gonna rate your drivers off of their personal um insurance as well so the difference between like trishura they don't they they strictly do trucking so if you you have an accident in the car they not they not really gonna see it but if you use progressive they're gonna pull up everything from both records so it's just something for y'all to kind of take with y'all to to understand that you know just just understand that you're gonna be (laughs) you know sub that the drivers are gonna be subject to getting getting exploited on both sides with that See somebody else hit me. So I shout out to y'all for the donations. I uh, I appreciate it. It's an hour, 24 minutes. I don't see too many more questions coming through. Let me see. What would you consider adding a driver based in VA? Oh, yeah, definitely. VA got that. Um, VA definitely um got pay good coming back to flow um to um Georgia. I, I just run you VA to Georgia all day. VA to Georgia back and forth. It's a good lane. Would you buy new or used? I'm buying used. I ain't buying a new because, like I said, sixty thousand a truck. I'm a, I'm gonna get the warranty. It's gonna cost seven thousand. So I'm gonna end up spending forty two thousand. I'm gonna damn near buy a truck, spending on the damn warranties. But I wanna have a warranty on a engine and after treatment. Transmissions don't cost that much to replace, so I ain't worried about that. I'm more worried about the D, the DPF system. So I definitely want to make sure I'm good. I know it was lit. Wow. Save the live, bro. <laughs> oh, for sure. Trucking out the box, which I've been up to. Man, I, hey, look, I've been missing the game for real, though, but I've just been kind of, I've been, I've been in my bag, though, trying to just trying to trying to build my company, man. I, I got to get. So I was breaking it down, y'all. So this this is my math that I'm, that I'm breaking down. This is what I call, like, worst case scenario shit like this, right? So... If I can, my goal, like to make a million dollars profit, just think about this, to make a million dollars profit, keep in mind, this is just in, this ain't including no box trucks. I'm trying to make the, just the, just the, um, the semi trucks to make a million dollars profit. I would need to make $19,250 a week profit. So if 10 trucks at two thousand, at just bare minimum of two thousand, that's twenty thousand. So that'll put me at eight hundred dollars a week over the goal of making one million dollars profit. 
So I'm gonna have 12 trucks. So just in case the people off on vacation, they won't fuck up my week if y'all follow my drift. So even if I had two drivers off in a week and I had 12 trucks, the 10 trucks would be able to do it. Mind you that some weeks my trucks do 4,000 profit. So some trucks are gonna do double that. So if three, if just so if five trucks just did double that during peak, we'll be we'll be sweet. So that that's kind of that's the only reason I'm I'm even expanding my fleet. I'm just gonna create a million dollars profit on the low end, which means it's a good chance I'll probably do closer to two million. But I'm gonna set it up for one million dollars profit and I'm gonna record the journey. So y'all can see it like we're we going we gonna to thug it out a year and I'm going to show y'all the, the true profits and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I'm doing is. I'm trying to build dispatching with the semis and make it affordable where it ain't breaking your pocket. So when I get to 10, so if I get 10 people to sign up for the pro, once I get the 10 people in, in my dispatch program, like people that ain't already in. The next 10 people, I finna, I finna change my rates because then if I get 10, you follow me, I can have 3,500 that, that, that the company will be making. That way it'll be easier for me to, you know, I can, I can, I can actually hire some, some help, you know, I don't know if y'all follow my drift, but it's all about value. If there's only a couple of people coming to me, I'm gonna charge 10%. But if I can get 10, what what we what we should be trying to do what the whole thing that we all should be working together because ain't nobody's no comp my competition because y'all in different we everybody here from somewhere completely different we got all four corners of the fucking map in here so i'm trying to be the go-to dispatcher where it's like okay i'm gonna I'm do it for 350 but bring me all your people too so then i can focus on i really just want to only focus on dispatching and going live and training that's it I want to get rid of the trucking company and just focus on that. That's my goal. But in order to do that, I need people to, you know, like, hey, Kobe, dispatch for me. Okay, cool. I can start building my business like that. I ain't got to worry about the trucks. The trucks is a headache. I already understand the dispatching. Boom. So that's the end game for me. You know, it ain't going to be owning a bunch of trucks and trailers. I just, I'm just doing that now because for one, like I said, I, I like playing games. So I'm going to go ahead and do and show y'all the journey of 1 million worst case scenario. And it's gonna start in about three weeks. I'm gonna show y'all my spreadsheets. We're gonna walk it down together. Cause I ain't finna hide, I ain't, I ain't, ain't finna hide the hand. I want y'all to see that it's, that of like, even on the low end, like, man, it be, I be having some some killer weeks. Sometimes you have bad weeks, like last week. Shit, I ain't really, I ain't make a whole lot. So if I get a truck, I can partner with you to dispatch my, my drivers. I right, definitely, definitely. That That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be like, I want to be the dispatch guy. Like I want everybody to bring their business to me for dispatching and coaching. That's all I want to do. Cause then, cause if I did it, if I had a dispatch company, I would have more, more time to train people. And I actually like training better than running my company for real. Be honest. Anybody that know me know, I just, I, I love to talk. I love to give game out. Like I would do it for free. I just got to pay my bills though. So I got to charge. So pretty much it's get, it's better to get a semi rather than box trucks. Oh yeah, definitely. In my opinion though, in my opinion and my expertise, I can show you, all right, look, let's, let's go back to the shared screen and I'm going to show you why I say that real quick. And I plan on getting off of here in an hour. So I'm really feeling the vibe in here. I mean, we're 192 deep. I need to have a bunch of likes. I'm trying to see if we could break 200 in here. We at 194. Come on, let's go ahead and break 200. Let's make it bigger than I think the biggest live I had was like 212. Come on, let's break it in. Let's get it. How do you handle paying your taxes? I just uh, hire an accountant. All right, let's get it. Um, let me share this screen real quick for the one time. Let me see. Let me share a Chrome tab. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about about like Chicago, like like how like how you could just see see some rates real quick. Let's see. I go in there. Chicago, all equipment. Let's see what they offering. All right, look. So, if y'all didn't believe me, right? This is Milwaukee, which is eighty-one miles outside of Chicago. For two hundred forty-five miles, they offering thirteen forty, which is five dollars a mile. They ain't even. 
you ain't even you ain't even bid it. So now let's look and see what um see what offers they got. See? So so these people trying to bid that high, but I bet you we could get this for like sixteen hundred. So let's see what else they got. Um that's 59 miles. No, nah, they ain't no good one right there. Wow, right here. 700. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. $4.39. It's refrigerated, but still, that's hellas. All right, look. Here go a drive van one right here. $3. $3. They offering that, which means they're going to be willing to pay more than that. If it say 12 on here, I can get 1500 off tops. Those are a little bit low. But that's going to Cali, though. I ain't messing with no Cali. Here go another one right here. $3. That's what they offering out of the Midwest. They offering the three. So you can easily get them to four. Like, this is, I don't know. I'm just showing y'all. So, like, this is the stuff you won't see. A $2,300 load on no board that you could just hit book now and have them up. It'll be all yours. You could book that right now. And this is just, and keep in mind, this is just one low board. This is just, this is JB Hunt. This is just one. Oh, we at 210. We rolling. Okay. That's what's up. Y'all must be getting, getting this knowledge and, get, and being entertained at the same thing. Do you pay quarterly, yearly? No, I pay yearly. Um, On the taxes, you mentioned 8K passively. That's gross before fuel and drivers. I'm saying that just, that's just gross, period. That's just gross. So, um, depending on what market, like if you, if you in the Midwest, as y'all see, you can average three, you do this through $3 times 3,000 miles. You the drive, you do 3,000 miles in a week at $3, that's 9,000. Simple as that. So that's pretty much how, how, how you can go in thinking like, okay, if you get three, three, three dollars a mile on six on, on 2,000 miles, you know, it's going to be 6,000. So you want to shoot for three, the objective would be $3 on 3,000 miles or either get $4 on 2,500 miles. See what I'm saying? What do you think about a CDL box truck with hazmat? I don't know. I already have an opinion on that. If, if, if I was in a situation, if I was in a situation where I had some work lined up for it, then it'd make sense. I'm only, I only know, I only, Shoot for semis because, as you can see, I can go straight to the load board, see exactly loads available for me to book right now and make money right now. So that's why I only can speak to what I can see, to what I can show y'all. This ain't I ain't hiding this from y'all. We this is a public board. This I ain't the only person got access to this. I could have went on there and booked that shit right now. This ain't no theory. This ain't no oh I thought no. We can go on here and look directly at what's at, what, at what's at hand. I ain't saying box truck. Like, I don't know nowhere where I can go see box truck loads that's paying $3 a mile. You know what I'm saying? Before I even start negotiating. That's why I'm going to be on Amazon because you damn, you can't negotiate with them. I can negotiate with J.B. Hunt, Snyder, all these other people all day. So, I only do it because it just makes sense. Who are the warranties through? The warranties are through NTB. If you go on Penske website, they, it, it'll show you everything. Premier, it'll show you Everything. I've done all my paperwork. How do I get finances to even purchase a truck? First time business owner. Like I said, Penske could do it. How much can I make with just one box truck? I don't know. It depends on what market you're in. I never made good money with one box truck. Not really sure how. Everything for me has been all about value. All about having multiple. So when one truck go down, a driver quit, my income don't never slow up. As long as I got somebody um running. I always know your break even. That's, that's exactly that's that's just know your cost per mile. Does the 360 app still want you to give them your truck for a week or two before allowing you access? I don't know. I ain't ever experienced that before. So what you think about New Jersey? I wouldn't, I don't run up North, period. Too many tolls and bridges and all of that shit for me. But 
it's people getting money up there, so that means it's money to be got up there. So I ain't, I ain't knocking it at all. I ain't knocking it at all. That's what I need, good drivers before I start more trucks. Tough. Right now, I'm getting the trucks before the driver because I know the driver's going to come because I just I figured out how to, how to recruit. I'm just going to pay niggas a lot of money and just take less profit. Don't matter because over volume, it don't matter. I'm, I'm paying my drivers eighteen hundred a week. I know, I know, I can get drivers with that. So, and they home every other day. So, that's what I need: good drivers before I start buying more trucks. Good luck on finding good drivers. I just need some drivers as long as they don't they 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 can get the load there. I don't know if they got to be good, good because I ain't never seen super super good, but like one a couple of times. Is there a year limit or precaution you would take before you purchase? purchase get what you get the best truck you can afford i mean i'm going with 2016s of course i would rather have 18s and 19s but you know if i want to get seven of them i rather you know i rather take my um take my chances so you going on social media to recruit no nah, i recruit from indeed now i mean i'm talking to y'all about i need a driver but yeah i mean i might post it online sometimes but i really ever um get anything good from there through indeed i get i get a lot of good stuff I get I get a lot of drivers. Give you a driver percentage of the load. I pay my drivers per day, you know. But like I said, whatever floats your boat, it ain't no right or wrong way. You will see if drivers be leaving. You know, if they quit and you can't keep drivers, you'll realize, you know, whether you paying them good or not. How do you screen your drivers for your trucking company? I company if I never drove a semi. Don't know too much about operating a truck. Look at videos online and try to and try to figure it out. It ain't just like I said, find your CDL driver and tell him to pay you to, I mean, pay him to to teach you some things about the truck. You know, you gotta get crafty with it. Is it possible to eat with just one truck? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, my truck's doing like I think Willie, the first graduate from my um my mentor my mentoring program, he 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 uh he doing like nine thousand a week. His driver willing to go anywhere though. So it depends on where your driver his driver willing to go anywhere, anywhere. Of course he's gonna be able to make nine, ten bands. His driver, his driver doing doing numbers. Everybody ain't got a driver like that. I ain't like I ain't got no drivers like that driver he got. I'm trying to find one. I might only have one driver like that. Do you have to change your info on going from box? Not not really. You should keep it updated though, but it ain't it ain't like gonna be like you're gonna get in trouble for it. Let me see what else coming in. Put that work in. New Jersey rules are bad. Would you lease a semi instead of renting a box truck? Yeah, oh hell yeah, definitely. Can you Lease or rent a semi without a CDL, but hire a driver. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yep. Leasing? Don't know. But rent, I know for sure. You just got to have that driver to pick it up for you. Any idea on rates? Much appreciated. I mean, I'm trying to get, I ain't taking it less than like 275 a mile unless I absolutely have to. And it ain't, that ain't that often. So. so is the LLC the best business model? Start with our S Corp. I mean, I like LLC. It's easy to set up. I mean, you could do so you can get taxes at S Corp anywhere. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what the best freight to haul is, but I, I, I haul dry freight. I would love to haul like medical because I know it'll probably pay real good. But all right, y'all, I finished slide out. It's been an hour and 40 minutes, and I'm tired. Um, I try to catch up. Um, I'm going live on. I'm gonna go live on Instagram probably around like maybe ten o'clock tomorrow. I'm trying to go live on Instagram every day, so follow me on Instagram at Kobe Pegway. Um, you just don't. What do you say? You just keep don't the good. Oh, just keep doing a good job. Hopefully, appreciate it. All right, but well, yeah, yeah. So anybody who want to do that that thing we was talking about, like the shadow on me. Hit me, hit my inbox. I don't have a price for it yet because I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, I never even thought about it before today. 
um lock me in i got the class on the 17th if anybody want to want to um join the class um doing very few one-on-one -on -one calls you know these days but you know you look like a little baby <laughs> hey man i get that shit all the time i'm ready i'm ready to be tripping if i hey don't tell me i look like no broke niggas it's, it's all good if you tell me i look like a rich nigga that's cool i like that <laughs> but yeah for sure y'all peace love and um I, i'll see y'all next time peace <laughs> i thought i looked like too short <laughs>